It's nearly 50 years since the first man ventured into space, and today Yuri Gagarin is flying again. A spaceship named after the Pioneer has blasted off from Baikonur in Kazakhstan and is carrying three men to the International Space Station. Artis Tessar Silia was in Baikonur to see the crew's preparations and liftoff. There is a lot of excitement, definitely, especially among the uh, spectators. Um, for the, we're going to see the takeoff of the crew, two Russian cosmonauts, you have Alexander Samokotyev, Andrei Barisenko, as well as NASA astronaut Ron Garin. Now, for the last a few hours leading up to this point right here, we have been following them through going through the uh, pre-flight traditions, if you will. Very interesting indeed, especially for uh, first-timers, and even those who have been here several times say it's never quite the same, the, the whole process. So we saw them uh, getting out of the quarantine facility. First, they left their signatures on their doors, as had their predecessors, and then they uh, walked to the, uh, uh, out to the crowd, and they, we saw them in their spaces. Very interesting to see them um, in their gear, um, saying quite an emotional farewell to the people, um, waving their uh, goodbyes to them. But this is uh, a very a special mission, if you will, because this is happening um, close to the 50th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's first space flight happening right here in what they call Gagarin's start. This is where it all began. Um, the NASA astronaut on board, Ron Garin, in his words, he had said that 50 years ago, on that day, mankind became a different species, that uh, we were able to go beyond the boundaries of Earth. There we go. Quite an amazing sight here in uh, Baikonur. Now the, the the guys will it, it will take about less than 10 minutes to get into to orbit to zero gravity and then a couple of days to reach the International Space Station will, where they will join three of their colleagues and Ron Garin who's a very tech savvy astronaut he did say he will try his very best to keep us updated using a tweet a Twitter that is sending us tweets as well as blogging so we do look forward to reading about their experiences up there in space. Tess Arcelia reporting there, and the retired NASA astronaut Michael Baker was also at the Baikonur Cosmodrome to see the crew off. As a veteran of four space shuttle flights, he told RT what orbit feels and looks like. Before you get into the spacecraft, you're a little scared. It's only natural, right? Um, but then once you get in, it's all business, getting ready to go. You know, you miss having like a nice shower, <laughs> um, some food. Nice food. The food is okay in space, but it's not the best. Uh, of course, you miss your friends and family, too. Our planet is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen from space. It's, uh, you could never get tired of looking out at our planet. It's very beautiful. And a very fragile place. Everyone says that that's been the space. But it's very true when you see the atmosphere at the edge of the Earth. It looks like it's only about that uh, thick. And the place looks very, very fragile, something that we really need to take care of.